bird dogs. You're going to get on all fours, making sure that your hand is directly under your shoulder and your knee is directly under your hip. You want your torso in neutral. In other words, you don't want to be tucking your tailbone and you don't want to be arching your back. A really good test of this exercise is to be able to put a foam roller on the small of your back, really onto your sacrum, and then do the exercise without the foam roller wobbling. And that's how you know you're executing a perfect bird dog. So from here, maintaining that neutral spine, you're gonna slide the opposite arm and leg out, keeping the abdominals nice and tight. You're gonna lift as high as you can comfortably go by squeezing the glutes and lifting through the shoulder with a straight elbow. You're gonna return it under the shoulder to neutral position. Without shifting your weight from side to side, you're gonna to switch to the opposite arm and leg. Again, squeezing the glutes, it doesn't matter how high the arm or leg goes, it's not about height, it's about being able to contract the glutes and the shoulder without shifting your body weight. Eventually, when you start to master this position, uh, this exercise, you'll be able to go faster. And then fast enough to do it without shifting your body weight from side to side or arching your back or tucking your tailbone. And again, a good test to see if you've mastered your bird dog is to try and put a foam roller on the small of your back and make sure that it doesn't move side to side as you do the exercise.